hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c divided by 2 plus 4 is equals to c and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And here we move towards the uh, first method. And in the first method, we first need to find the LCM of the denominator of both of these denominators. And you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and this term is also 1. So you easily get the LCM of this term and you see here the LCM of both of these denominators are 2 so here we need to multiplying both of the sides by LCM that is 2 okay so when we multiply each of these terms by 2 it will be written as 2 multiplied by C divided by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 4 is equals to 2 multiplied by C so here after multiplication we get here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we obtain c plus this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 this is 2 times c becomes 2c and here we move the variable terms to the right hand side so here you see that this is positive c when we move it into the right hand side it will become the negative c and here this is over 8 is equals to 2c minus c and here we obtain 2c minus c is equals to c becomes 8 so we get here c is equals to 8 so you see in this method we get only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 8 and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of c be the solution or is this value of c be the extraneous root for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is c divided by 2 plus 4 is equals to c and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 8 so when we verify c is equals to 8 it means that we put c is equals to 8 on both of the sides and we check its behavior after substituting the value of c we get 8 divided by 2 plus 4 is equals to 8 and here we need to cancel these terms and we get this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 and we obtain here 4 plus 4 is equals to 8 and we easily get 4 plus 4 becomes 8 is equals to 8 so this shows that the value of c is equals to 8 is satisfied over this given question statement uh, so this means that uh, c is equals to 8 be the only one solution of the given equation so uh, the final conclusion about the solution set of this problem is that we have c is equal to 8 be the only one solution of the given question. So this is the final answer which we get here from first method. And now we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method we need to copy down given question statement here. It is c divided by 2 plus 4 is equals to c so this is our given question statement and in, in the second method uh, here we first uh, we need to move the variable terms to the right hand side so for this we move c over 2 to the right hand side this is the positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will become negative and we get c minus c divided by 2 so further you see here the denominator of this term is 2 but the denominator of this term is 1 in order to make both of these denominators same we need to multiply and divide this term by 2. So when we multiply and divide this term by 2 we easily make the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes 2. Uh, so when we divide this 2 by 2 we get 1 and 1 times of 2c equals to 2c. And when we divide this 2 by 2 we again get 1 and 1 times of c becomes here c and in the left hand side we will get here 4 so here you see that this 2 is divided by right hand side and when we move it into the left hand side it is multiplied by 4 so it will becomes 2 multiplied by 4 is equals to 2c minus c 
and here we obtained 2 times of 4 becomes 8 and 2c minus c becomes here 1c. So you see that c is equals to 8 be the only one solution which we get here from second method. But uh, in the first method we already verify that this value of c is satisfied our given question statement. So uh, this means that uh, our final conclusion about the solution set of the given question is that it is 8. Okay, so 8 be the only one solution set of the given question which we get here from both of these two methods. So uh, here we uh, explain the difference between root, uh, between extraneous root and solution. So uh, the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root. But here we cannot get any extraneous root. We have only one solution and that is c is equals to 8. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.